Hello, the video today is going to be a shootout between three different overdrive pedals. One is the Tube Screamer. It's uh, from the mid 80s and is a TS9. The other is a remake of the original. <laughs> this is the Maxon OD808 overdrive. Um, this is modern, as in present day, as in not made in the 80s. And this is the JHS PG-14. Those are going into a Marshall DSL-20 on the clean channel. The EQ is basically straight up for the most part pretty basic the clean channel has just a little gain and um, the volume low because I'm in my home <laughs> and have neighbors the guitar is a PRS Wood Library Custom 24 it's a sweet looking guitar in this video I'll be comparing the three pedals in different settings <clears throat> and as well I'll take a little time to figure out what I like from the three of them and let you hear that as well let's see how they sound shall we oh yeah the SM57 is going into my MacBook Pro and into Logic Pro into a clean channel. There's no other processing on it except I have Glenn Fricker's <coughs> blocker and a gain to bring the input level up a little bit. And that's it. All right. This is the sound of the amp on its clean channel. No effects, a little reverb. And here's the clean sound. So that's what it sounds like clean. I'll now go through each pedal um, with all the settings at roughly noon. So here is the 80s Tube Screamer. Then we'll do the GHS PG-14. And we'll do the new ah, she's 2019 Maxim OD808 Overdrive, which is, if I can get this straight, a remake of the Tube Screamer, which was a remake of the Maxim Overdrive to begin with. So I guess essentially the Maxim and the 80s Tube Screamer, this is a new Maxim, and this is a 80s Tube Screamer. We'll see how it sounds. Interesting. So let's play with these a little bit. We start with the Tube Screamer. And... Now 
will go down with the drive. So that should come up. We have our tone. Uh, no sound came out, FYI. And with it cranked. Put some skank on it. Like a little higher end. That's kind of how I like it. We'll go to the maxim most because it also has less knobbery. So engage and drive down. <laughs> difference really tone I'm losing it off the camera of course I am I'm a new with this I'm a new guy <laughs> off to cranked <laughs> so if we play around with this a little bit why don't we just do similar and that up a little bit now let's goof around with the J J H S Paul Gilbert PG fourteen. I don't think you can see all these. Um, this is volume, so obviously all the way off is going to be, well, I don't know, do I? Yeah, it's all the way off. All the way up. <laughs> This is called mid. Mm -hmm. 
continuing in the uh, pink, go down in tone. I think less of a dramatic effect than the other two pedals. Mid freak, when C. Yeah, makes it a little thicker. So drive Bring this way down. And that's also off. It's a blasting. <laughs> push that's also off basically push that is No copyright. I just made that riff up just now. So push almost gives it a a fuzz effect. It does not sound very happy in my amp. So let's back that off. Um Let's see, we turn the drive similar to our others. Um, leave the push there. Turn the tone up a little. And I assume we don't really need the volume. That definitely makes it louder. So I think this is... You guys can look up the the actual specs on the JS, JHS PG14. We are listening to it today. Yikes. That is, uh, I don't even know quite what to do. This pedal's new to me, you know. So what if I just turn the volume down? No, I think I want less drive. All right, let's try each one in turn. Maxon.
And there you have it. So that concludes the shootout slash comparison of the three overdrives. I've been as Tube Screamer from the 80s, um, a new modern Maxon OD808 overdrive, and the JHS PG14. What'd you guys think? Cheers.